Hey friends. Hey, thanks for joining us for another Bible story. This is our last story for this week. We're continuing through the life of Jesus and the Jesus Storybook Bible, and today's story is called Filled Full. It's from Matthew chapter 14, Mark chapter 6, and Luke chapter 9 in the New Testament in the Bible. And it goes like this. There are once 5,000 tired and hungry and probably very grumpy people sitting on a hillside wanting their dinner. They'd come to hear Jesus that day. They came before breakfast. They stayed all morning, all afternoon, and way past dinner. No one had meant to be out there that long, but that's just how it was, listening to Jesus as if time didn't exist. People could listen to Jesus for hours, and on this particular day, that's just what they did. But they hadn't brought enough food. And they couldn't just go buy themselves a burger and fries to go because, of course, they were in the middle of nowhere with no shops or restaurants because <laughs> that food hadn't been invented quite yet. So what would they do? Jesus' friends had an idea. Let's send everyone home for dinner. There's Jesus teaching that all of those people are there and they are hungry. What is going to happen next? <laughs> they don't need to go, Jesus said. You can give them something to eat. Did Jesus want them to travel all the way to town to buy food for everyone? Jesus' friends panicked. But we don't have enough money. What food do you have? Jesus asked. Go and see. Now, there was a little boy in the crowd, and he had brought a lunch that his mother had made for him that morning. He looked at his five loaves and two fish. It wasn't much, not nearly enough for 5,000, but it was all he had. I have some, he said. Jesus' friends laughed when they saw his little lunch. That's not nearly enough, they said. But they were wrong. Jesus knew it didn't matter how much the little boy had, God would make it enough, more than enough. Jesus said, bring me what you have. So the little boy gave Jesus his lunch. Jesus winked at the little boy and whispered in his ear, watch. How in the world will Jesus feed everyone with just that? Jesus' friends said, because they thought it was impossible. But Jesus knew the one who made all the fish in the oceans. Jesus knew the one who in the very beginning had made everything out of nothing at all. How hard would something like this be for someone like that? So there's the lunch. And there's Jesus and the little boy, and he's getting ready to do something very special. Let's check it out. Jesus took the little boy's lunch, looked up to heaven, and he thanked his father. Then Jesus gave the little lunch back to his friends. As Jesus' friends started to hand out the food, do you know what? It was the strangest thing. No matter how much they broke off, there was always more and more and more. Enough for 5,000. Everyone ate as much as they wanted. Second helpings, third helpings, even fourths until they were full. And still there were leftovers. Well, Jesus didn't, did many miracles like this. Things people thought couldn't happen, that weren't natural. But it was the most natural thing in all the world. It's what God has been doing from the beginning, of course, taking the nothing and making it everything, taking the emptiness and filling it up, taking the darkness and making it light. Look at all of the food and look at the people. They are munching and they are looking very happy and satisfied because they have plenty of food. And you know, that's the amazing thing about Jesus. He can do these amazing things and he still does today and he loves you so much. So thanks for joining us for another Bible story. We will see you next time. You guys take care. Bye-bye.